Hello, my Scorpio babies. This is your daily read for July 29th. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Okay. All right, Spirit, what do you got for my Scorpio babies for today? I did load your August videos um, up on TikTok last night. If you want to go take a look at those, feel free. All right, Spirit, what do you got for my Scorpio babies for today? Oops, sorry. We have the Tower. We also have the Three of Wands. Your Tower fell. Your tower fell, but you're you're building it back together. I feel like you're taking the patience with the three of wands of what direction you want to go in when it comes to your tower falling. How do you want to rebuild it? With the king of cups, I feel like that you're taking a lot of love and care with how you want to rebuild your tower. And you're having patience with yourself. We have the hermit. You could be dealing with the Virgo. You don't have to be. But this is also about self-reflection. If you are dealing with a Virgo or somebody like that or who somebody who embodies that, some of you could have Virgo in your chart. But you're taking the time. I feel like that there was a tower that fell and you're taking the time to how you want to rebuild it. How could I do things differently? Um, and you're looking within yourself when it comes to a certain connection on rebuilding it. We have the temperance card. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. You don't have to be. But... You're trying to find that balance. And with the Patience card and the Three of Wands, you are definitely taking time. You're definitely taking care in this situation. We have the Knight of Cups. There could have been an apology that came in or you could be apologizing to somebody else for a certain way that you acted or something that you feel like that you did wrong. Um, but this is also about like when it comes to that rebuilding stage. It's like, how are we going to rebuild this? I feel like that you have a loving nature towards this person. I'm not going to say it's full-fledged love, but I think that you see the potential in it. And so you're wanting to, let's see where it goes, but let me put more work into it. Let me invest a little bit more time and heart into it. Um, the King of Cups, I feel like that is you coming out all day long. You know, you're like, how can I nurture this? How can I lovingly address this? I think that you see certain things within a certain connection and you're like, you know what? They need stuff too. Even if they appear to be strong, even if they appear to act like they don't need anything, you know that they do. And you actually want to show up for them. I feel like that you want to show up and show them something that they've never experienced before. We do have the Page of Swords. You're studying them. You're totally studying them. I feel like that you are looking at certain things, Scorpio, and you're like, hmm, this person needs this in their life. They need that in their life. Let me show them that I can actually be that. Like, let me show them the support that they've never had. I feel like that you're looking at a particular situation and you're like, this person has never had love in their life. Like, not true devoted love. So let me show them that I can be different than everybody else. Keep in mind, when you do that, make sure you're not losing yourself. Don't get so wrapped up into a role play when you really just need to be showing your authentic self. Just show your authentic self and just be who you are. If you're naturally loving and you're naturally like moving towards a certain connection or a certain thing, then be that natural thing. Okay, if it comes natural for you, then definitely live it out. But do not do a role play. Because in, in the long term, you'll end up resenting that person for taking you out of your character. So if it's not part of your character or if you're not feeling it for that person, don't go above and beyond trying to show that you're different. Because if this person starts relying on something that is like a falsehood, then that can be more detrimental than anything. But if you're legitimately feeling it, then by all means, go for it. But I feel like that you are studying somebody um, and you're doing it kind of behind the scenes. You're like, I'm, I'm seeing how this person ticks. Um, all right, Spirit, what energies is around my Scorpio babies?
what energies are around my Scorpio babies. All right, we have, oh, both these. We have Aquarius, we have Aries, we have Virgo, we have Scorpio. Bottom deck energy is Sagittarius. So that's what I have for you today, Scorpio. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.